want your family and closest friends there, you check with them before locking it in. Edited to add judgment not the asshole. Natar. You already are SVPD yes. Even if both weddings were low-key you've committed to your friends. Not the asshole and if Bill wanted his siblings at his wedding, he would have checked if they were free before picking the date. Especially when there's no limitations on EG special venue that only has one spare weekend this year. Why didn't Bill check dates with his brother before fixing the date? Does he mind if your husband is there or not? Or is there any possibility that having the dates clash was intentional? How much does your husband want to go on this particular holiday? Could he be trying to sabotage it? This is why they need to bring back basic etiquette because anyone who lived through those times knows that when you accept the first event invitation it's extremely poor form to bail on it for another invitation, no matter how much better it may be although in this case, it is not. Not the asshole, but you husband is for not backing you up, and especially for shit talking you. This is a big red flag, and honestly at this point, I'd consider going without him. Natar. If it were me, I would go without my hubs and let him go to his brother's wedding. The family will still be disappointed, but you'll get to go. I'd go to the destination wedding for sure. You've had it booked for months. I bet Bill knew you were away that weekend. If husband wants to stay at home for Bill wedding, then let him. Take a friend or relative to the resort with you and have a great time. Not the asshole. Your husband is tough for talking shit on you this his family. I'd be gone quickly after that tbh. Not the asshole go to the wedding. Let your husband go to his brother's wedding. Him talking shit about you is not okay. You might need marriage counseling. Esh. Nta for sticking to the prior commitment. But calling Bill's wedding not a real wedding? That's an asshole move and most likely this elitist attitude of yours blew the whole thing up in husband's family. Edit judgment. Talk to your husband tell him you don't appreciate the way he is bashing you behind your back to his family. His words and actions have caused you pain and discontent. Let him know that you made a commitment before his brother ever set a wedding date and you intend to honor that commitment. Let him know if he doesn't want to honor his commitment to attend the wedding with you he can stay and attend his brother's wedding while you attend your friend's wedding. Tell him no hard feelings if he wants to attend his brother's it's his choice but you would like an apology for his words and actions leading up to his decision. Enjoyed the wedding. Not the asshole. Planning a backyard barbecue that requires zero planning and costs nothing to change the time of on a date when your husband is away is completely your bill's fault. If he really wanted your husband there he'd change the date. Not the asshole you already have plans. All you need to say is you can't make it. Not the asshole. Your husband is not being reasonable here. Your friend's wedding has been planned a long time and you have RSVP'd that you will go, booked a room and organized child care. Just go anyway on your own if necessary. Your husband can go to his brother's wedding and barbecue and take the kids saving you that cost. In this specific situation not the asshole. Didn't they already know that you were supposed to be on another destination for a wedding that weekend? If they want you in their express surprise wedding they should have done it at a different weekend. And your husband speaks bad about you to his family? You have a bigger problem than the wedding. You committed to the first wedding. Miss Manners is on your side. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. You go as planned and your husband can stay home. Not the asshole. Prior commitment. Bill should have checked in with the main people he wanted at his wedding when he decided on the weekend. Your wording about not a real wedding etc is not cool, but you're not the R for wanting Bill to move the date. He wouldn't be an R for not moving it either. Your husband is the R for shit talking you to his family. Sorry but you guys have already made a commitment to go and your husband is our for talking crap about you petty me would tell him he can go to brothers I'm going to the other since we already said we go. Not the asshole. Attend to your friend's wedding and your husband can stay home with the kids for his brother's wedding. 
used months ago. Info Did your husband actually want to go to your friend's wedding? Would he have asked his brother to have barbecue on the same weekend? Like you said, given the circumstances of the barbecue, it would be nothing for them to pick another day. I'm petty enough that I'd go on my own and have the best time. Not the asshole. Prior commitment. Edit to add I think OP meant not a real wedding as there are no deposits needed to book a venue, caterer, etc. and can be moved easily to another day? Not the asshole. It's been booked, paid for flights, and RSVPD. Your husband is a huge asshole for not cleaving to his wife and talking about you behind your back. That's the part I drag him on. He's being a shitty husband and is for lack of a better word a fucking traitor. Not the asshole. Their wedding came after, you are now obligated to the first and everyone else is being an ass here. Not the asshole. This was booked well in advance. It's possible that Bill did not know or had forgotten about your previous commitment. I understand your husband's POV too. I would have gone for nah except for his attempting to guilt you into cancelling the trip. The baby can't be split in two and that's just how it is. Neither option is wrong and the two of you might have to go to different weddings. 